Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toya from the Classy Sassy Life. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Today's video is a collaboration with my girl Kim from Elementary in the Mitten. She has some awesome content on her channel. As you can see, I'm already subscribed. She does a lot of classroom videos as well as lifestyle videos. She's just awesome. So make sure you click that subscribe button for her as well as that bell so you don't miss any of her uploads. We are giving you guys the top 10 tips for setting up your classroom this fall. So if you want to see part one with Kim, you have to click on this video right here. Go watch it and then come back here so you can see part two. If you're ready for part two, just keep on watching. All right guys, tip number six, schedule. So when you left Kim's channel, she told you that you needed to create a checklist. Well, tip number six is to create a schedule. You have a list of all the things that you have to get done. So you need to schedule when you're going to do those things, okay? So you want to dedicate a day to um, doing something on your checklist or half of a day and then doing something else on your checklist because you cannot do it all in one day and this leads us to tip number seven yes schedule a day for furniture may not take you all day maybe a half a day but schedule a day to move your furniture first and it just gives you a sense of accomplishment when you have moved your furniture and it's in place it's like oh my gosh my classroom is almost already set up when you have your furniture where you want it to go so that is my first thing that I would have on my list if you're not moving classrooms like I'm moving classrooms so I had to dedicate two days to moving my entire classroom so you there's already one vlog up on my channel about moving vlog number two will be up this Saturday so make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss that and I had to move but when I go back into my classroom day number three is going to be furniture moving in addition to other items so I have created my checklist of things that I want to do and now I have to get down to the nitty-gritty and schedule when I'm going to do those things first side note if you have something that you're going to put on the ceiling or going to put on the wall and then you're going to move furniture in the way of that go ahead and put those few things up first and then put your furniture down so that you'll save yourself some time later on and Tip number eight. Tip number eight. Organize and label, 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 label. Label. So serious. It is so important for you to organize and label things so that you will know where things are. You don't want to tear your room up looking for something. You want to be able to find it. I am so guilty of this. It gets down to the nitty gritty and I haven't organized, haven't labeled, throw everything in there, start looking for something, can't find it, gotta mess everything back up. It's so important and that's one of the things that I am not forgetting this year is to go in and label everything. I am going to be using either these, and I know it's hard to see, but it, these are the little rectangular um, Target dollar spot labels. I'm also going to be using the square ones, and they're going to be nice and cute, and they're going to be labeled. Everything from math manipulatives to drawers to cabinets. I'm going to know where everything is in my classroom, and that's important when you are working on your procedures so if you're going to have things set up just for your students you want them labeled so students will know okay just for instance dull and sharpened pencils you're going to label your being dull and sharpened so they'll know okay i put my pen pencil in this little bucket and then i pull the pencil from this bucket same thing with your crayons and your glue and your markers they're gonna know where things are and you're gonna know where things are because it's already labeled for you you know just go ahead and take the headache out of the way it's so important so that you and your students will have a smooth and swift transition when you're doing centers when you're doing activities you know where everything is label your carts label the your bins label everything I will be doing that on my classroom vlogs this year so make sure you're watching if you have any questions about that I'll be happy to answer them tip number nine purge yeah guys you gotta get rid of some things you have to get rid of some things we accumulate so much stuff 
and it's so important to get rid of some of those things because we don't need all of those things and it's important that we go through things that are no longer useful they don't have a place in your room anymore they don't have a place in your curriculum in curriculum anymore so it's time to get rid of those things and then finally 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 you're at tip number 10 decorate I'm excited what? Yeah, what? oh I love decorating my classroom it is so fun for me it's probably my favorite part and if you're like me then it's your favorite part too and some people don't like to decorate they like to do very minimal and that is fine too whatever space that you create for your classroom it's your classroom that you're gonna have with your students and you're gonna be there seven to eight hours a day you want to make it safe you want to make it fun you want to make it friendly and you want to make it a place that you and your students both love so that's where the decorating comes into place but it is my absolute favorite thing to do in my room so take pictures of your walls put them onto powerpoint and decorate your walls like you want to decorate your bulletin boards hold up if you don't have bulletin boards here's a pro tip for you buy foam boards from dollar tree yeah here's a clip right here of me putting up my foam boards from dollar tree and creating bulletin boards in my room and they work out so well hot glue um i used gorilla glue hot glue sticks and i also just found some gorilla tape so i'm going to reinforce my bulletin boards with um gorilla tape but it works perfectly if you do not have a bulletin board back to the video so that is all i have for you guys those are tips six through ten number six you want to create a schedule for everything that you have going on tip number seven furniture first place your furniture where you want it to go it's going to give you such a feeling of accomplishment tip number eight is organize and label everything everything that tip right there is so important i always forget it and i always end up regretting it so i'm not going to forget it this year tip number nine purge it's so awesome to be a blessing to someone else so purge what you have donate give it away gift it sell it if you have to but make sure you go ahead and purge the things that are not useful in your classroom anymore and they're no longer good for your space but can be great for someone else's and tip number Number 10 decorate whether you are doing bright colorful colors farmhouse style minimal style go ahead and decorate okay guys so that's going to wrap up all 10 tips for setting up your classroom thanks so much for watching this video my collab with kim is so exciting to do it has definitely helped me out tremendously and i hope that it's helped you as well drop a comment down below and let me know which one of these tips was very useful for you guys thanks so much for watching keep god first in everything you do don't forget to click that subscribe button for me and for kim and remember to teach with lots of class and sass bye guys